the novelist Lloyd Douglas, who wrote The Robe and a number of other books, tells about a time when he was a university student living in a boarding house. And on the first floor of this house lived a retired disabled music teacher. The teacher was confined to his wheelchair and his apartment and rarely got out. But Lloyd developed a friendship with him over the, their time together. And they had a routine that every morning as he left for school, he would bound down the stairs, knock on the door, open it, and ask the retired teacher, so what's the good news today? And this retired music teacher would take his tuning fork and wrap it on the side of his wheelchair saying, that's middle C. It was middle C yesterday, it's middle C today. It will be middle C a thousand years from now. What's the good news? Is the fact that Jesus Christ crucified and risen and with us now and forever is our middle C. It is Christ by whom we tune the rest of our lives now this piano has a middle C. Fairly in tune, but not always. Kind of like our lives. We must constantly be readjusted, retuned according to our middle C, Jesus Christ, who is with us forever. The truth of Easter is not just for one, one day in a year, but it's for a reality that we live every day of our lives. Paul writes in Colossians, these moving words that tell us a little bit more about the nature of this Jesus. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through him, God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether in heaven and or on earth, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Keep the middle sea of your life in tune by our tuning fork, Jesus Christ.